These are some of the various stalls for this year's industrial and mining expo. It was a great time for businesses and experts involved in the industrial and mining sector to network and share ideas. We caught up with Mark Randall of PNG Industry Manpower Solutions Limited. He shared with us some of the interesting programs and trainings they offer to Papua New Guineans who wish to be employed in that space. In the whole, it's the, the PIM School of Leadership. It's part of our PIMS training college that we have, but it's dedicated to leadership and growing our people's capability around leadership. Um, we do this by uh, roundtable events, open forums, and we do this by providing training to our, our people. High technology companies were also present during the expo, one of which is Windtop Solutions. This is a company that employs and trains Papua New Guineans to become technicians in setting up security cameras and high-end security equipment. Wintop sales executive Frederick Veata talks more on the work that they do. Wintop investment at Wintop Investment, we are specialized in uh, security systems, technically service and installation. We do so. Uh, as you can see from the background, we have the CCTVs <clears throat> displayed, we have the alarm system displayed, we have the vehicle tracking displayed. Tart Bryant is an overseas-based company, however, is a national distributor of heavy machinery. As elaborated further by the National Wear Protections Manager, Tom Hovata. Well, Tart Bryant is an Australian-based company, but we do have machinery in Papua New Guinea. We sell here in Papua New Guinea we have mezzo crushers, we have some sunny cranes and we are also starting to support things like the ground engaging tools that you see here. This two days industrial and mining exhibition saw both local and international companies and businesses all participating in sharing of ideas and exchanging technical advice. The expo was hailed a success. Lindy Suharupa, National MTV News.